That's pretty fun. Where's Charlemagne the Devil? Possibly. <laughs> Club. Yes, donkey of the day for Wednesday, August 17th goes to Pastor Carlton Funderburk, okay? He is the senior pastor of Church at the Well in Kansas City, Missouri, and he is not pleased with his congregation. He is not pleased with his flock. He had some words for the members of his church because he wasn't pleased with their tithes and our offerings. For those who don't attend church, you know the tithe is uh, 10% of your income and the offering is anything extra that you give beyond that. I believe Pastor Carlton wanted an offering, and when he didn't get it, he had some things to say to the members of his church. Can we go to Hollywood Unlocked for the audio, please? Because of how you've been honoring me. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. Mm. Come on. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. Mm. Come on. I ain't worth your St. John knit. Mm. Y'all can't afford it, no how. <laughs> I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Movado, you can buy a Movado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. Damn. I, I don't think I set that up the right way. Oh, what the hell? I, I, and, and I do want to hear it again, so let me set it up the right way. Pastor Carlton wanted an offering, and the offering he wanted was a watch. He wanted a Movado watch, okay? Can we hear it again? Because of how you've been honoring me. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. Come on. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. Mm. Come on. I ain't worth your St. John knit. Y'all can't afford it, no how. I, don't even know what I ain't is. worth y'all Louis Vuitton. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Movado, you can buy a Movado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. Is thou not worth your Red Lobster money? Is thou not worth your Louis Vuitton? Is thou not worth your Prada? Is thou not worth your Gucci? All this pastor wanted was a Movado watch from Sam's, mm. which can range in price from $395 to $3,295. And this poor broke, busted, and disgusted congregation couldn't deliver. Those are his words, not mine. He called his congregation <laughs> poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. You wonder why the church service has been so long lately? Because Pastor Funderburg does not know what time it is, okay? He cannot keep track of the time because you poor, broke, busted, and disgusted members of that church could not buy him a watch. All right? Pastor Funderburg may not know the day or hour of Jesus' return, but he can know the day or hour of when church is supposed to be over, but not if he don't get no watch. Is thou not worth your McDonald's money? Huh? My cheap sons and daughters? Okay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about niggas. Niggas going nig as long as you let them. All right? <laughs> okay. I'm lying, by the way. Pastor Funderburg is dead wrong. This is why people don't believe in church right here. Now, I'm not going to tell any man of the cloth how to do their job, but I feel that if you put God first and every Sunday preach the good word, then your members will tithe and offer enough that if you want a good watch, you can buy one yourself. But we talked about this just last hour. There is a sense of entitlement, a sense of expectation that exists within human nowadays that is just absolutely disgusting. Okay, if you expect nothing from somebody, you will never be disappointed. What's that scripture? Uh, blessed is he who expects, expects nothing, for he shall never be disappointed. I don't even know if that's a scripture. I think that's a Bible scripture. All quotes with blessed in them are Bible scriptures, I think. This is why I believe in God and not man. All right, this is why I'm spiritual and not religious. And I'm not even, you know, mad at Pastor Funderburg because guess what? Unlike him, I don't have expectations for humans. My only expectations for humans is for them to be human. And my only expectations for niggas is for them to nig. And this right here is a nigga nigga. And this is as human as it gets. Now, he did apologize. Let's listen. My name is Carlton Funderburg. I'm the senior pastor of Church of the Well right here in Kansas City, Missouri. Though there is context behind the content of the clip, no context will suffice to explain the hurt and anguish caused by my words. I have spoken to those I am accountable to and have received their correction and instruction. I have also privately apologized to our church who has extended their love and support to me. I'm privileged to do life with them. The video clip does not reflect my heart or my sentiments toward God's people. 
yet that's not discernible in the clip. Therefore, I offer this sincere evening, sincere apology to you today. No context could erase the words I used. I apologize to all who have been hurt, angered, or in any way damaged by my words. Well, only, ju only God can judge you, Pastor Funderburg. I'm lying. We all judging. Okay, and if the church wants to accept your apology, cool. But personally, I feel like this is spiritual malpractice. Okay, I believe in forgiveness, but I think he needs to be demoted for a little while. All right, he can't be the senior pastor. All right, can't be the senior pastor no more. You got to devote him back to fries, or in this case, to Usher. All right, he can't be the manager. Maybe later on in the future, but he got to sit down for a while. I personally couldn't be a member of this church anymore because now I know how you really see me. You ain't even got no watch, but you let me know what time it is because you think I'm poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. So I'm going to take my poor, broke, busted, and disgusted ass to McDonald's. Please give Pastor Lawrence Funderburk, uh, is that his name? Why well, I said Lawrence Funderburk. Why Lawrence Funderburk? That's a basketball plan, ain't he? Pastor right. Carlton Funderburk, the biggest he, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. Ain't that what Mr. Toe Sealy? Ain't Mr. Toe Sealy that or am I tripping? It was something like that, isn't it? And Mr. Toe Sealy, you poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. Because of how you've been honoring me. Mm. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. Come on. <laughs> I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. <laughs> Come on. I ain't worth your St. John Nick. What's St. John Nick? Can't what it, is no Saint John Nick? I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. Know. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Movado, you can buy a Movado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. Yes, you yes, can. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. I would have said I'm poor, I'm black, I may be even oh, ugly, man. broke, busted, and disgusted, <laughs> but I got to watch. <laughs> I got to watch, mm, though. That sounds so wild. I got to watch. All right. Why his church got such bad dietary habits, too? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Love me some Red Lobster, though. Yeah, me too. Them biscuits are banging. Lord have mercy. Them cheddar cheese biscuits ain't no damn joke. I'm scared uh -huh. to eat them now because I'm lactose intolerant. And it's Louis Vuitton, not Louis Vuitton. I don't care. I'm just telling you. just want you to sound. I don't buy that stuff. Like you know. All right, let's open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. What's the uh, craziest thing you heard your, your uh, pastor ask for? Don't bring your no pastors into this. Pastors ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> How about we, we, sh we should ask, is, should, should the church have bought Pastor Carlton Funderburk a watch? You want to go there? Does Pastor Carlton have a point? <laughs> I mean, right, because the, pa the pastor represents the congregation. <laughs> he got to know what time it is. He does have to know what time it he is. He may not know the hour or day that Jesus is going to return, but he at least got to know when church service is over. But if he's going to swing, he might as well swing for a Rolex. <laughs> pastor Whitehead would have went for a Rolex. <laughs> he know yeah, his how congregation. How much is that Like $295, $395? Well, it ranges from $395 to $3,295. But you go to the Sam's Club, and okay. I think you get it for a little discount. Listen, man, if I look out at my congregation and I see that they poor, broke, busted, and <laughs> disgusted, <laughs> I'm not going to ask them to do anything, you know, more than this Movado watch. Goodness gracious. All right. So the question is, should the congregation should have brought that poor pastor a watch? <laughs> <laughs> My man begging. He said he'd be waiting for a year and y'all ain't get him that. Let's talk about it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.